And here it is, the uh, German World War One mess tin. Come all the way from Netherlands. I paid eight pounds postage, um, and I won it on uh, a bid of uh, sixteen pounds, which is quite a steal because at the moment they're like hen's teeth. You can pay um, up to um, thirty, maybe even forty pounds for these. It doesn't matter if you can get a reproduction because when something's a hundred years old, they usually do look a hundred years old. And I'm a reenactor. Um, I'm not a vintage, uh, uh, an antique collector. I mean, um, some of you guys might be, but I'm, I'm only really interested in something that actually looks like, you know, well, something that's actually usable, really, in effect. Um, so the way it sits is different from the Second World War version, is it sits horizontally like this. Um, you'll notice the strap is, this, this uh, strap loop is diff different as well. And so you've got a strap that, that goes across, or crosswise like that, and then you'll have another strap going across there to fasten to your backpack, your tornister. Or if you want to do later, you can have an assault pack. Basically, it's just like that. Um, yeah. So obviously, it's, it's unpainted, which is uh, not good. It needs to be painted black. Um, they're issued in black, but by 1917 they were being issued in field grey as well. It's up to you really how you want to paint them, but I think I'll probably paint mine black.